What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert. If it's your first time here, do me a huge favor by dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. Now, today we're gonna be taking a look at one of my favorite Yeezy models, and that's the Yeezy Quantum in the flash orange colorway. Let's go ahead and get started with the box. So, standard Yeezy box, cardboard box there with Quantum on the top. Got boost on the side because this does feature boost, obviously. And here is your size tag information. And I picked this up in a men's US size nine and a half. Actually, I uh, won this pair on the sneakers and stuff uh, raffle. <laughs> um, yeah, so those got shipped in. One thing I will say, this gotta be one of the, this is probably the worst shape I've seen a Yeezy box in. Look at, I didn't notice it until I opened it up. Look at that. Man, that's kinda, I don't know what happened to that. But anyway. <laughs> All right, so that's that. So I, like I said, I end up hitting on the uh, sneakers and stuff raffle, so I didn't have to get up and, you know, wait on Yeezy Supply, worry about Adidas raffles, anything like that. So I already had my pair secured, just had to wait for them to come in. <clears throat> okay, and here we have it. The Yeezy Quantum Flash Orange. And get you a good look at that right there. Now, this shoe here, I, you know, I'm a big fan of the Quantum. If you've seen any of my other Yeezy review videos, you know that I really like the Quantum model, and apparently a lot of people don't. <clears throat> so, I hit on the sneakers and stuff raffle, like I said, and that tells me that maybe a lot of people didn't want them, and I saw that they were, I think they were going for under retail on the resale market, which is fine with me, um, because I like the model, and I, like I said, just keep bringing all the colorways. I just, it's something different, and that's why I really, you know, like the shoe. Um, but comment down below and let me know where you guys are able to pick them up and um, how do you feel about the quantum in general? Just want to know. But let's go ahead and get started with the view. So on the lateral side there, let's start with the, you know, this back heel here. You've got that standard Yeezy quantum heel there with the black kind of nylon or neoprene like upper here um, on the ankle. And then you've got that 3M mold in gray right there on the heel as well that kind of wraps around to the side. <laughs> and you've also got that nice prime knit quantum, like, you know, spiral upper there. And this in particular is my favorite quantum um, style or version or makeup. Cause you know, they've had several different pairs. This right here is the kind of um, version of like, I think the original quantum OG model that has like the prime knit upper with the kind of knit material and that 3M zigzag stripe in the back. This is my favorite. You know, they also had the basketball model. They've got um, the, I think the C teal, which was like an entire prime knit upper. Um, the teal blues were uh, pretty similar as well, but just having the prime knit upper. Um, then you've got the uh, bariums, which had the kind of plastic overlay, like the basketball version but they weren't necessarily called the Yeezy basketball version, so it kind of gets complicated. But anyway, this is my favorite one. Now, as you can see there, you got that flash orange colorway, which is what I'm assuming this top portion right here, these three, I guess, stripes or so there at top, that's your flash orange. It kind of looks like a very, very light rust color to me. Um, you've also got some beige woven in there as well as some black and some more, kind of a darker beige below here, and some uh, tan and light brown there as well on those uh, prime knit stripes. So let's give you a good look at that. All right, and like I mentioned behind there, you can see that 3M stripe that's behind it, which is what I really like about this particular model. And also you've got that kind of uh, translucent, this is kind of a creamish looking color on the side. Uh, midsole there, you can see the boost through it. All right. Yeah, and that's about it there. So let's uh, move around to the actual toe box. On the toe box, you've got that standard uh, quantum kind of U-shape on the toe and like a very kind of a brownish, kind of a light brown or tan looking um, suede. And the suede is pretty nice on these. Uh, moving up from there, you've got that neoprene tongue with black laces, and they appear to be, I think they're black, yeah. They're black, but they look ever so lighter than the tongue. I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but they are black laces. All right. Cool. 
And like I did mention, this is the lifestyle version. Well, I don't think I said it was lifestyle, but it is the lifestyle version. Um, and in the lifestyle version, you don't get all the padding on the inside of the ankle collar or around the tongue and the heel. So, you know, like, like, like you do in the uh, basketball version. Just wanted to call that out. All right, moving around to the medial side of the shoe. Y'all got the same thing there, man. Just another look at that flash orange color. You know, that beige, the black that's kind of woven in there. Is that black or is it? It might be a very dark brown. Kind of hard to tell sometimes with these Yeezy colors, but it looks, in certain lighting, it does look like a dark brown woven in there, which is cool. <clears throat> All right, and that midsole, and then you got the the ankle thing that runs around the side of the shoe. Yep, all right, now let's take a look at the heel. On the heel, you've got that big kind of heel cup there that is 3M, that's on all the Quantums, which I like it, but I wonder if they'll ever change the color of this, I don't know, but um, yeah. And up above that, you've got that kind of neoprene ankle collar there, and you do have a little bit of uh, kind of a slightly stretchy material there in the middle that wraps around your Achilles. Now it's not like the basketball version. On the basketball version of the Quantum, you've got a very wide kind of really stretchy like kind of material there in the middle. But on this one, you've got just a little bit there. <clears throat> All right. Now, let's see here. The insole, this is, I believe, let me take it out. See if I can get it out here for you. All right. Okay, yeah, you've got a black insole with gray Yeezy Adidas branding, all right? Yep, it's your standard insole, nothing special there. All right, and lastly, let's take a look at the outsole of the shoe. Um, so you've got this kind of gum, it's like a, it almost has like somewhat of a brown tint to it, like a, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's a, you know, gum outsole there. And you can see you've got that exposed like little design there on the outsole, which I think was present on the C Teals. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I kind of like that. It's just something different that we hadn't seen on any of the other Yeezy models. So that little design there that you can see. And also you've got that exposed boost window right there. All right. <clears throat> okay guys, that'll be all for the Yeezy Quantum in the flash orange colorway. Now, as always, just gonna give you all my final thoughts on the shoe before we get into the on feet. Now, in my opinion, the Yeezy Quantum Flash Orange, is it a must pick up? I would say, in my opinion, I'm gonna go with yes. And that's only because, you know, I'm a fan of the Quantum model. I feel like, um, you know, it's a nice shoe. I like this particular makeup, like I said earlier, with the Prime Knit with the 3M behind it. Um, I like it a lot better than all the most of the other different variations they've had of the shoe. And because, you know, I guess the majority of the people are not feeling them, I don't know if it's the $250 price tag or what, and they're going for below retail a lot of times, you know, they're, they are an easily obtainable Yeezy. So if you don't have a Yeezy model, or if you're just a collector like me, then I, see, I say go ahead and pick it up if you can. And I like this colorway. It's a pretty nice neutral looking colorway. Um, but yeah, I think it's a must pick up. Now, as far as sizing, <laughs> as with all Yeezys, go a half size up. Now, I will say this, the Quantum model is a little confusing when it comes to sizing like any other Yeezy model. And I think that's because they have so many different variations of the shoe. So for this one, I have a size nine and a half, which is this right here. And I also have a size 10 in the OG model Quantum. Um, the size 10, it does fit me pretty good with socks on I have a little room but there is a little more heel slippage than I like but in this nine and a half it's more of a perfect fit and my toe is probably right about let's say where the end of my finger is right there so it's almost an exact fit um, but I do have a little bit of room in the foot area midfoot well sorry forefoot area because it's a little wider than your normal Yeezy um, so you can go with your typical Yeezy 350 size which should be a half up in most cases, or you can go a full size up if you want that little bit of extra toe room. Um, but depending on the model, like I said, like I have a pair of um, Yeezy basketballs and I picked them up, tried them on a nine and a half and they were super tight in the toe. 
so I had to go with a 10. But then when I went with the 10, a full size up, I had a little more heel slippage here. So overall, I will say if there's one thing, I'm not a fan of the sizing in particular on this. Um, but like I said, half size up should work. Full size up, you get a little more um, uh, room in this midfoot area, which can be a problem. But yeah, just go half size up or full size if you got wide feet and you should be fine. Either one will fit, but just know with the half size up, you're gonna get a little more heel slippage. Uh, yeah, that was a lot, but just try to make sure y'all have information on sizing because it can get confusing, especially if you're gonna buy aftermarket. You gotta know what size you need. So, um, yeah, that is all I believe for the Yeezy Quantum Flash Orange, guys. Again, comment down below and let me know that you guys pick them up, how you feel about the Quantum in general. And always, thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.